Hello Aries, welcome to the channel. This is Kelsey from Empress of Energy, ready to jump into a current energy check for you gorgeous rams. Um, how are ya? I hope you're all well. Um, please do subscribe to the channel if you've not yet. Um, let's connect energies. I know it's been a little minute, but let's jump in, let's see what we've got. So I'm going to be doing a current energy check, okay, for anyone with the sign of Aries in the chat, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, cross watchers, also always welcome. So. Flip the rolls as you see fit, don't force the messages to fit, however, if they're not for you. So, um, current energy, guys, past is a minute gone prior, future is in a minute and beyond. So, I feel like you want to say something, but you're kind of holding yourself back, Aries. There's going to be some kind of reward if you do open, your, if you do open up. If you do say or speak or communicate in the way that you want to, you will get recognised for that in some kind of way. There will be some kind of recognition. Um, there could be also something going on with your house or your home. Some of you are feeling quite trapped, imprisoned, enclosed, stuck. Um, yeah, I'm seeing it again. Some of you are feeling very trapped at the moment. Some of you this is in a, in a relationship or some of you this is at home. For some of you, someone could be in jail. Um... Yeah, some of you could be in a very controlling situation or trying to be in control. But there's some kind of imprisonment, whether it be physical or mental that you're feeling or somebody is, take it as it resonates. Um, oh, there's somebody maybe that you connected to Aries that's going to be receiving some kind of unexpected income, some money, some abundance. Oh, there's, whether that's you, that could be you or someone you connected to. That person needs to be mindful <clears throat> of thieves. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. It could be like inheritance in some kind of way. Or someone maybe older than you is maybe like a mum or a grandma or someone, a sibling, older sibling. Or someone's coming into money um, and they're going to have thieves around them for about it because of it <laughs> people interested um, let's see show me what Aries needs to see please spirit somebody rising in Venus okay something's ending we've got card number 19 a funeral there's something ending here endings bring on new beginnings let's see show me more what does Aries need to see spirit somebody rising in Venus Aries energy, please, spirit. Okay. Oh, it's flipped over. Oh, we've got a rich man. Okay, someone's coming into some kind of abundance in some way. This could be you, this could be someone else. Someone that's expecting it. This could be this could be a return of something here as well. Someone's expecting a retail, a come around, someone coming back around again. Someone that you've already ended things with. It's like you're waiting for someone, but you're waiting for someone's abundance or someone maybe to deal with something that they're going through, an ending that they're going through. You're watching from the background or someone's watching you. hoping there's some kind of hope going on it's hope waiting for someone something to come back around again that's someone's waiting for something to come or hoping that something will come back around again um look someone's going to be receiving some kind of um abundance or something unexpected and there's going to be thieves knocking about so just be mindful aries this could be you this could be someone that you're connected to um mm. Someone's about to be like rewarded in some kind of way. There's a cycle closing out for someone and it's going to come in for them beautifully and they're going to have people around them that are not going to be very happy. Um, take that as it resonates. Let's get some more keeper messages. Well, the journey's completing here. Most definitely. Another cycle. Oh. 
is someone's relationships over someone's relationships over someone could be seeking like look i've just seen a journey completing card number 10 and with a funeral out here already someone could be like seeking advice from a, an official person about ending a situation in some kind of way or someone's actually taking control and ending a situation something like that doing what needs to be done or something or someone needs to take control of a situation there's a message yeah there's there's some kind of there's some kind of you're going to receive some kind of news and it's you're not going to be too happy about it or someone's not going to be too happy about someone's Could be something to do with a child, it could be pregnancy, if someone's news of a pregnancy is not going to make you happy or something. That won't be for everyone. This. Right, this is going to sound dead, dead, dead weird, dead random, right? But work with me, go with me. So there's someone, either you or someone that you're connected to, Aries, that's going to be receiving some kind of recognition, rewards, abundance, money, something of the sort, right? And it's going to con really con like concern a lot of other people. It's involving a lot of other people. Um, sorry, Bonnie. <laughs> Bonnie's having a little clip there in the background. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, someone's not going to be happy for someone else's success, right? Show me messages for Aries, please, Spirit. Some of and Venus. Thank you. Hi, Honor. Listen, someone's winning some kind of battle. <laughs> it's like something's coming to a head kind of thing. Um, card number 25. The community, listen, there's something going on which is involving quite a few people and someone's getting some kind of recognition for it, rewards for something that they've had to deal with. Um, within the community, within the public, this could just be with friends, family, but there's been something quite heated maybe, but it's some kind of battle, but there's recognition, there's winning, high honours. Show me more. Courthouse. There's something of importance going on which concerns a lot of other people. Something to do with the community or something something quite heated. I mean, it's coming to an end and it's going to come to an end beautifully for somebody. <laughs> Either for you or someone that you connected to, Aries. Yeah, look, great fortune. Um... But there's going to be people outside of that that are not going to be, you know, maybe you're gaining off someone else's fortune. Take it as it resonates. But yeah, someone's got to pay someone money or something like that. And there's a lot going on. Hmm. let's carry on let me know if this is making sense guys like share comment subscribe it really helps the channel yeah look there's some shocking news sudden change shocking news surprise epiphany upheaval transformation so something's gonna shock someone shock the community um it's like the runner Someone's been in, someone's a runner in a codependent relationship. Someone's in a relationship that they just don't want to be in. Um, someone that could have been running away from commitment is kind of now like wanting to come back. Oh, bloody hell. Show me messages for Aries, please. Some reminds of Venus. Reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, making memories. Someone's looking over our pictures. <clears throat> Someone could be, yeah, listen, someone's replaying some memories, going over situations, conversations, pictures. Hmm. Replaying, something's on replay. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. 
not today, not dealing. Someone's refusing to deal with the situation or trying to avoid a situation repetitively. It's not going to work. Oh, avoiding a conversation, a call, person, boundaries, still angry. Someone that wants to speak is not doing because they're still consumed in their emotions in some way, something that they've been going over and over. It's kind of like emotions are taking over, so it's, you know, someone's still pissed off. Things are going to come to light, though, so it's going to change that dynamic. What are they? I hope this is making sense. Show the rest of your fairies, please. Maybe there's something that you want to maybe there's something that you want to say, but there's a lot of people involved and for some strange reason you very much value their opinions or the perceptions. So you know this but well, something's about to come to my head in some kind of way. Show me messages for Aries, please, Spirit. Somebody rise on Venus. I don't want this to be too long to play out it. Messages for Aries, please. What's going on? Break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. So there is an ending to something, a situation here, a relationship, a, a dynamic, a situationship. Or something's going on with someone that you've already ended things with. The runner. Look. Oh. I've got the runner. Running in a codependent relationship, further into the set, listening to their ego. So someone's, you know, someone's been a bit fearful of commitment. Um, someone could have ended something with a, with somebody because they were just scared of commitment, intimacy. You know, very egotistical. Could be you, Aries. Could be the person you're dealing with. Flip the roles, you see fit. But someone's like been refusing to deal with the feelings, their emotions. Like someone's got a lot of anger, a lot of resentment. Um, you're not dealing with the hurt. Avoiding a conversation, a call, a person, um, boundaries, still anger. So maybe someone's blaming someone here, Aries. You know, that's been a factor in a situation. But I feel like it's about to change. Look, because the, the dragonfly, be lighthearted, find it out, things come into light, adapt, change and heal. So there's going to be something that happens here, quite publicly maybe. And it's going to kind of set someone free you and give someone the ability to talk open up say what they want to say stop blaming someone for something in a way someone could be listening to a lot of people's bullshit when it comes to a situation or a person and someone's taking the wrong advice something's going to get found out palm tree at the bottom of the deck stability security before uh, permanence growth endurance flexibility Wedding rings, union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. So, and then the sabotage behind it. So, someone could have been sabotaging a situation, a relationship with you and a specific person. Um, something's going to come to light about all that. Let's jump into tarot. The devil. Yeah, you've got some shitty people around you. We're done with the Capricorn. There's... Time to release it all. There's releasing toxicity, toxic ties, relationship, bonds, burdens. Um, I feel like these are other people. There's been a, a lot of other people involved in a situation or a dynamic with you. And, you know, I feel like you're pushing a lot of people away now, keeping a lot of people at arm's length, not listening to what other people's opinions are. Or you shouldn't be. Because someone, someone or something is stopping you from doing or saying something that you would want to say. Um, could be another relationship. I don't know. Take it that resonates. The hangman. Yeah, look, you need to look at some form of pretense or ego self differently from a bigger perspective. Keeping yourself stuck in a certain situation that you don't actually want to be in. Or there's some, you know, there's a little bit of pretense going on. Mm, because sadness is, your emotions are... You know, like, when people say don't necessarily make decisions based on your emotions, wait until certain things pass before you decide and do something. Um, something like that's going on, or it needs to. 
someone's missing someone a lot, but they're refusing to admit it or acknowledge the fact. And it's not doing it, whoever that is, very good. It's not. Show me Aries energy, please, spirit. Show me Rising and Venus. What does Aries need to see? Aries energy. Okay. Oh, the Five of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. So this could be something that's gone on for a while, been taking its time to move forward, but it's not going to move forward. There's going to be delays and obstacles in place because there's not honesty. There's no honesty there. So if anyone's going through a situation where it's like, why am I not moving forward? Why am I not getting anywhere fast? It's because someone's not being honest with themselves. This is either you or someone else. That's a lot of dishonesty and delays. So, you know, unable to move forward, move on. Lying, deception, holding back. It's it's very deceptive energy. Show me more. We'll find out when we clarify. What? Six of ones. Someone putting on a pretense for somebody else's benefit. Yeah, someone that you've already ended things with. The six of ones, the queen of ones, and death. So this is either you, Aries, or this is <laughs> the, your person. But it could very well be you. Someone's putting on a pretense because something's ended and it's affecting you more than you want to admit, basically. Um, or something to that effect. But I feel like this transformation, rebirth, there's a lot going on there. But someone's very much pretending that they're okay. The Six of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, the Four of Cups. Someone doesn't, I mean, there's a bit, there's a little bit of um, anticipation over whether there will be an offer accepted. Yeah, I feel like it's you, Aries. Your energy, I feel. So I feel like there's a lot of apprehension because there's just a lot of wondering, not knowing of whether someone from the past, maybe, something that's so much dead shit's gone, gone down. <laughs> um, maybe just, you know, being a runner, chopping something before it got to a certain point because someone was afraid of commitment, whatever, take it, it resonates. But now that person wants to reach out to the other party and there's just a fear of rejection, dismissal. Will they accept it? Will they not? I feel like you could be pleasantly surprised, to be honest, because if you take a risk, you're going right towards this Ten of Pentacles, but a lot of you are not doing it because of other people's opinions, arguments that it might cause, disruption, chaos, conflict, jealousy. Yep. There's a lot in between a soul connection here. There is. Take that as it resonates. There's a lot of opinions that are being, are being focused on. More so maybe by you. But flip it. Let's see. Let's clarify. Oh. There is this some form of ten of cups here that someone wants and for a lot of you this is on you Aries but there's a lot of holding back and it's because of a lot of other people. Like let's clarify. Hmm. Someone's very proud, very, very, very proud, very proud. Someone could, you know, someone could have a bit of a public status or a reputation of some sort, you know, a good one, and they don't want it. They don't want to be looked at in some kind of way. So, oh, divine timing. So there's confusion here, and again, the emperor, that's your energy. There's, there's feeling a little bit lost. Um, you need to let the divine take control because they're here and they want them to, but you're trying to be in control a little bit too much. But you're getting a little bit lost. You know, um, oh, there's some kind of honestly for a lot of you. There's, a, there's some kind of relationship ending. It's it's just something that's really pointless. It's ending. Show me this five of swords, please. For Aries, the nine of swords. Wow, someone's dealing with the high priestess. What has come out then? 
So someone staying so far away from somebody else, <laughs> it's and it's stressing them the fuck out. But someone's highly intuitive, so someone knows what's going on anyway. Well, the Queen of Cups, whoever the Divine Feminine, Divine Feminine is maybe. Um, the devil wants to come out there. Show me one more. These five of swords. Someone just needs to express how they feel. They really do. It's stressing them the fuck out. Mm -hmm. And this is either you to a Divine Feminine or this is a Divine Feminine that needs to speak. Take it as it resonates. One more, please, for this Five of Swords. The Knight of Swords. Maybe there's been a lot of harsh things said. A lot. A lot. Maybe from the Divine Feminine. Um, there's a lot of worry. There's a lot of shit that's been said. Harsh words. Oh. Someone wants a rebirth, yeah. We've got the King and the Queen of Wands. There's a match. Someone just needs to reach out first, is what I'm getting. Like, someone needs to cut ties with something else in some kind of way. And whether that's a situation, a person, or a particular kind of behaviour. Um, show me this Knight of Pentacles, please. So this is something that's possibly been away, of, away for a while with the Knight of Pentacles. Well, the Two of Cups and the Knight of Wands. So there's been a big gap, maybe, you know. Show me one more for this Knight of Pentacles, please. Someone's took the fine time in speaking. Someone's fear, fearful of what they want to say because they don't want to shock people or whatever. I don't know what's going on, but... Someone's been lying instead of speaking the truth at risk of... what other people will think. Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, King of Cups. Is it enough? Is it enough? I don't know. Do you know what I mean? That's what's being asked, I think. Someone's wondering, is it enough? Can it work? But again, we've got the King and the Queen of Cups. We've got a lot of matcha energy mirroring. Someone's holding on to someone, but pretending that they're not. So, because of all the deception and, you know, the hiding of the feelings, shit's going the wrong way. Um, and it's unnecessary, is what I'm getting. Show me the seven of swords, please. The devil, holy shit. The empress, wow. The hanged man, what the hell. So, there's a lot of deceit. I don't like that energy, but someone's crazy obsessed with you, I know, like, I don't know. I mean, someone's looking at it different there, you. The Empress, you could be dealing with the Taurus, the Capricorn, with the Devil, the Pisces, with the Hangman. But you're looking at a situation, or you're being told to look at a situation the way that you the way that someone's lying. Or someone who's lying, they're obsessive, they whoever's toxic about a possibly about a divine feminine. I don't know. You need to look at a situation differently. Flip these rolls as you see fit, guys. No gender in tarot, but there's like a very possessive kind of energy. But it's like needing to lie as well. It's it's not cool. Let me clarify that devil. Judgment, the five of wands. What? It's like there's a power struggle. There's a competition going on. Um, show me this devil, please. The queen of swords. Yeah, someone. Oh, right. So now we've got the king and the queen of swords again mirroring. So there's a serious pissed off pair of people here. <laughs> um, but that would all go away if someone actually spoke the truth. Just going to say. Flip them roles as you see fit. Male or female. But again, there's a lot of people. There's people that don't like your person and vice versa. Um, 
But who the fuck gives a shit? Who cares? That's what someone needs to see differently. Look at differently with a hangman. It's like nothing's going to get better. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? If someone doesn't put down the facade. The hierophant, for the six of cups. Yeah, someone just, you know, put their ego down a little bit. And reached out the way that they actually do want to, and maybe shit was change. But there's a lot of what ifs. What if it? Someone's got too much pride. What if it doesn't go that way? What if it don't go that way? And I look like an idiot. That's what someone's giving it. And then for a lot of you, that's you. Show me the six of ones, please, for Aries. You're very prideful. Do you know what I mean? The six of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Show me the six of wands, please. Something's off balance and someone's pretending that it's not. The wheel. Okay, the page of swords. So, spying is getting someone nowhere. Um... Someone's spying, secretively, wanting to reach out, but they're not. Someone really wants to express their feelings and their emotions, but they're not, because they are like, like mm, I'm too good for that vibe, is what I'm getting, honestly. Typical Aries, male or female. Show me what this page of swords is, who's this spy, what's someone watching? But divine time is at play here with the real ten of cups. Someone, this could be someone that you've shared a ten of cups with already and someone wants it back whether that's you or, or your person take it to resonates someone could be checking up on someone to see if they're with someone else what? someone needs to just apologize <laughs> or something reach out if not apologize and something will come just Someone's finances are being affected, the stability is being affected, and as soon as that kind of like, kind of gets acknowledged in some kind of way, then maybe from the Divine Masculine, that'll start to sort itself out, because that's someone's karma, is their stability being affected by the swords? Oh yeah, I hope this is all making bleeding sense. Show me this Queen of Wands, please. Like, someone's work life could be being affected and everything, like, do you know what I mean? But that's their karma for what they've done to someone, whether that's the male or the female in the situation. Show me this Queen of Wands, please. For Aries. What, the King of Pentacles, the Page of Cups and Justice. Someone's stability is being affected. Someone is on the up and the other person is not. And that's how it's balancing out right now. That's how karma is being served. Like someone is on the up, and I feel like someone else is on the opposite side of the spectrum. But that's kind of what's, yeah. Until someone kind of acknowledges what's going on, releases the burdens, and accepts the tower moment that possibly keep reoccurring. Um, that's the way it's gonna be. Maybe until there's an apology, or. Again, maybe just expressing feelings. Mm -hmm. Also, someone could have already, someone could have been in a situation where someone seen the other one as just like some kind of meal ticket, and it's nothing but imprisonment. It's someone could literally be in some kind of jail with someone that thought would have been an easy meal ticket kind of thing. It's not the case, far from the case. And that could be ending. Um, but take that as it resonates. Show me this death, please. Show me this death, please, for Aries. Ten of Pentacles, listen, someone's... I don't know, for some of you, there's one, one relationship ending and a new one beginning. Um... If that's not the case, it's someone's that's already had the Ten of Pentacles having a rebirth of the same individuals. <laughs> Show me more. Show me more fairies. It's like the potential is absolutely there as well. If those of you that are wanting a rebirth of a situation, it's 
the potential is absolutely there um, but it won't come it won't come like without you doing anything and for a lot of you someone needs to release the burdens and again Aries that could very well be you with the king of wands energy take it as it resonates someone needs to just drop the defense someone needs to drop the defense like I want to say like someone just needs to relax it's Someone's also got someone else around them that's very manipulative, and that's a big factor in it. And that, but again, it's for a lot of you, it's more than one person with that community and <laughs> and other bits. You know, it's more than one person. Maybe someone's family is just very much in the way, or take it to resonates. But someone needs to drop the burdens for this to have a rebirth, and I feel like the potential is absolutely there. But someone's got to make the move, do you know what I mean? Because we're dealing with the Taurus, with the Hierophant, reaching out to a person from your past. There it is. Um, that's what I've got. Let's get some moonology for you, Aries. It was longer than I wanted it to be. What do you need to release? Mm. Crazy, there was something about, in, you know, there was a, a Taurus reading, is um, kind of a little bit like, don't care what other people think. So, you could have Taurus in your chat or dealing with one. Take it as it resonates. Mm. Nothing is yet set in stone. Step out of your comfort zone. Honestly, like communication is key. Someone needs to speak, work through your fears. There's just a lot of fear of rejection, I think. Fear of rejection or fear of what other people will think, so on and so forth. Like, someone needs to release all of that. All of that. Show me rest of his fairies, please. Thank you. Okay, we've got the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. You could be dealing with the Gemini. The answers you need are coming. So something's going to come out and I feel like there's going to be a big... Maybe someone is going to, like, someone's just put someone in a bad light. You know, like, some your family just can't stand your partner. So they've kind of managed to come in between it, separated it. If it's not family, it's some kind of third-party situation. Like, and they've done nothing but talk shit about that person. And it's, the majority of it's bullshit. You're going to find all that out. And it's like, well, well, I'll let that come in the middle of it. I, get, I'll let that get in the way of it. I always wanted to reach out. I still do want to reach out. Maybe do it. In whatever way, I don't know. Yeah. Show me more. The answers you need are coming. Show me more, please. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. So some of you could be dealing with the Taurus or you have Taurus in your chat. But you need to put your plans into motion. I feel like you're going to do it though. I feel like there's going to be something that comes to light that's going to enable that. You're going to find someone out and then you think, right, fuck it, I'm doing it in some kind of way. Or well, someone is. One more fairies. Thank you. Meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. So you could be dealing with the Pisces or have, it, have that in your chart. But this is doable. Meditate and contemplate. I feel like you can find the solution. Your dreams need a practical plan. So meditate and you'll find them. You know, Pisces, it's a very intuitive sign of the zodiac so a lot of you could be very intuitive receiving signs and downloads but meditate and contemplate and you'll find your way don't let your past hold you back south node someone's been in the south node letting the you know letting the past and the negative control for far too long it's about to be released i think mm -hmm. that's what i've got for you aries i hope that's resonated let me know like, share, comment, subscribe. It really does help the channel and I appreciate you all. Take care.